Hello guys, welcome back to your Pentest Test Club. Today we are going to discuss about scan a website vulnerability using a Uniscan. So, in this video tutorial, we are trying to elaborate the word enumeration using Kali Linux tools using a Uniscan. So, what is a Uniscan? Uniscan is a simple remote file include, local file include and remote command execution vulnerability scanner as well as works as an enumeration tool in order to gather information like open ports and protocols related to a target and investigate it against any vulnerability. So first of all let's start open the command prompt and you can type uniscan if you not at install you just type yes then give your password then it will ask you yes So it will start for installing the Uniscan. So it was installed. So now I can type uniscan minus minus help so you can see uniscan help is got so we need to get the targeted website so we need to choose our target website so you just open a firefox then just need to type test php dot web dot com we need to use like a list products dot php cat equal to 1 so we got the products here so we just copy this is our target okay so we just minimize so now we need to start so you need to type uniscan so here you need to see minus u defines the url so you and you need to paste the targeted URL. your address then so i just use minus j as any argument okay so let's see So we can try sudo su yeah now it's running you can see So it will start enumerating the ping by sending ICMP packets to the targeted server and establish the connections. Further, it will use a trace route to show the path of the packet of information taken from the source to a destination and list all the routers it travel, travels through the fail and it discards in the actual it will inform you how long each hope will be sent it back. Then later it will send NS lookup. So NS lookup is a program to query a internet domain names and servers or DNS lookup or a reverse DNS or RDNS. It's a method of resolving an IP address into a domain name. So also it will do Uniscan make use of Nmap for aggressive scan. Okay. So against the target server to identify open ports and protocols services hence from the uh, 
you can see once here it will be displayed the end map so now we are waiting for this end map and it will also enumerate the end map nsc scripts to identify the vulnerabilities and details on the running So we need to wait because nmap will take a too much time. So uh, further you can see the trace route. This is the trace route. Now just come back, open a new tab. You can type sudo su, type password. With the same thing, okay. So I just use minus d as an argument, okay. Uh, like I want to do a dynamic scan now here so let's see so it's crack uh, in the dynamic now it will load a selected uh, plugin in the fetching more details for targeting server so from the given above here a dynamic so you can observe the result where it come with um, with that domain name and server and it's crawling and plugins names and everything you can see web backdoors so you can see nmap yeah you can see the nmap result is also we got it here okay so we can go through it here e8 is open http is open trace root so you can see this So we got it here as an email you can see uh, the email we have found okay so email id moreover loaded a further plugins in the scanning vulnerability like sql injection remote local file inclusion and xss so we can see this this and all. So it will take for to get all the uh, SQL accesses and blind SQL things. So we can see for that, that one. So now I just come back. I can type sudo su, then type password. So with the same thing, you just paste it. So now we need to do the next command using a queue. Queue is an option to enable the directory test on the server okay so now we can test the directory server so now we can see uh, the server directory check skip because the test dot test php vulnerable list product php did not return to the code to 404 so in audit form and with the same thing now we can type a g so what is the g minus g option is then a web uh, footprint so we can see web, web footprints is came or not so they are not found in drupal modules anything else so still directories of 27 okay So now let's see. This is a still 27. So this is how you can do the basic of Unix. Uh, basic of Unix scan thing as a beginner's thing. Okay. So try it your own, guys. Thank you, guys, for watching. Have a great day.